Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to another Community Fix, and in particular, a Move Lab Foundations class. I'm your host, James, and we're going to have a full body exploration today. If you are brand new to Move Lab, we're happy to have you. The only thing you have to remember for any of these Move Lab classes, whether it is Foundations today or Dynamic on Thursdays, is whatever choices you're making, whatever you're doing, whether that's a break or choosing to make something even more complex, is totally and completely up to you. This is an invitation and permission for you to make whatever your next 30 minutes is totally, completely yours. Move Lab is about creating self-awareness. What am I feeling? What am I noticing? What choices am I making, consciously or unconsciously? And then discerning, well, is that the right next step? What would be the right next step? Just following the guiding light of what's that interpersonal dialogue that's coming from deep inside of you? How do you get better at understanding interpersonal dialogue? You come to Friday's classes, all about reset and restore, which is building that uh, communication with yourself. Enough said on all of that. If at any time I'm sitting a certain way or choosing to do a certain movement and you don't want to do that, feel free. Feel free to change your mind and do, do the thing that works best for you. We're going to get started with a breath work exercise right into our nervous system warm up and then always finishing off with our explorations, our play practice of the day. Um, again, this is full body stuff, taking what we did in April and in May, upper and lower body specific explorations and bringing it all in together. If something feels above your pay grade, please revisit those exercises. I know you've been practicing for the last few months, things that were difficult, things that were enjoyable, things that now as we get into some of these more full body experiences, you're like, oh, now I get why we did the wrist thing, the toe thing, the hip thing the rib thing, whatever it is, right? Okay, breathing practice for today is gonna to be four, seven, eight. I'll do the counting, you do the breathing. We'll inhale to a count of four, hold our breath for a count of seven, exhale for a count of eight. Four, seven, eight. Be prepared for the cadence of that four, seven, and eight to shift and change. It will always be an inhale to four, hold seven, exhale eight. To start off, inhale like a normal human being. Exhale. <sighs> One more. Prepare by inhaling. And then exhale. And then inhaling to a count of four, three, two, hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four, seven, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven. Four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slower. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Short inhale, pause, long exaggerated exhale. Again, quick inhale, hold, 
long exaggerated exhalation. That's essentially what a 478 is. So as we explore and play today, if you feel like you need some regulating breath, maybe try that one on. Now, bring your hands together, get them warmed up, place your nice warm hands wherever it would feel good to place your nice warm hands, belly, chest, throat, jaw, wherever would feel good. With that, you can add in an orientation practice, just looking around, naming the things in your space, and maybe even a little swaying, right? and left, a bilateral swing. Good. Letting your hands rest, turning the sway into seaweed spine. A little bigger, a little more loose. You could even turn that into falling practice if you'd like. Or maybe it's just real gentle today. When you're ready, you can continue on with that if it feels good. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Imagine your hands are going to dip into imaginary paint and they're going to paint the legs. Front, back, inside, all the way to the toes, all the way to the hips. Then bend your knees, hands go onto the ground. Fingertips can either face away from you or they can face out to the sides. You choose which one works best for your personal body. From there, shoulders are gonna fully relax. Shoulders push down to take you up. Shoulders relax, push down. As you continue with that, just tap into that rhythm of the collarbones. They get narrow, they go towards the throat, they get wide and slide down the front of the ribs. Notice how your spine shifts, goes from letter C through letter I, maybe even arcs upward and then moves. You're just noticing. Now, use your arms to push down, let your spine get long, use your feet to start to push down and do a bridge up. Decelerate and relax. I push down to go up and I decelerate back down, relax a few more, push down to go up and slowly, one more. Bring your knees and your feet together. Drop them over to one side. Drop them over to the other side. Now, if one of those was difficult, maybe go there. Practice that. If not, legs out straight. Feet, arms are gonna push down. Feet, windshield wipe left and right. Both of them look to the left, both of them look to the right. Left and right. Center. Stay there or pushing down, pushing down, bridge up, and slowly decelerate back down. Pushing down to go up, decelerate. Staying there or pushing down to go up, windshield wipe left, and right, left, right. Four, three, two, one, rest. A little stretch forward. Bend your knees, make yourself into the littlest shape you can make. Continue to sit, but make yourself into the biggest shape you can make. Go little. Go big, go little, go big, go little, go big, go little, go big, one more, go little, go big. Now, we're building, 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 building. If any of those building blocks was hard, 
stay there. Think about where you have been to know where you're gonna go. This was doable for me. So I'm gonna put my hands back here. I'm gonna make a great big shape and take as much of me off the floor as I can. Then I'm gonna go little and relax into the floor. Go big, go little. Go big. Go little. Go big. Go little. Go big. Go little. Two more. Go big. Go little. Last one. Go big. Go little. And rest. Lying down on your back. Lying down on your back, bring your knees towards your chest. Grab a hold of your knees. Spread them apart, bring them together. Spread them apart, bring them together. Decide if this is enough or grab a hold of your ankles. Bring them together. Spread them apart. Bring them together. Spread them apart. Decide if that's enough, or maybe you want to grab a hold of toes. Bring them together. Spread them apart. Bring them together. Spread them apart. Wherever you are, stay there. Go big and rock. Right and left. Can you get all the way to your right and go little and soft? Open up, go big, all the way, little and soft. Go big, travel, little and soft. Go big and travel, little and soft. One more, go big and ah. Find yourself on your side facing into your screen. Looking forward, stretch out into a long shape. Top arm is gonna lift, touch and go. Touch and go. Remember, you don't have to keep your legs straight. You do have to bring your foot to your hand. You can go here and bend. You can even change where your hand is. In fact, two more, and then move your hand somewhere else. Maybe it goes behind you. Touch and go. Maybe it goes in front of you. Touch and go. Touch and go. Maybe it goes up high. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. One more. Relax. Take your top leg, straight leg, stretch it behind you as far as it will go. Take your arm, stretch top arm, stretch it in front of you as far as it will go. Then they change places. Arm goes behind, leg goes in front. They change again. They change again. One more, they change again and rest, other side. Lying on that side, top arm lifts up. You know the same drill over here. Touch and go, two more. Touch, go, touch, go. Hand moves somewhere else. Touch, go, two, one. Somewhere else, three, two, one. Five different places. Touch, 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 two, one, rest. Top straight leg goes behind you. Top straight arm goes in front of you. Stretch, and then they change positions. Two, 
one, rest. From there, scooch to the front edge of your mat or the space you're in. Take your top arm and stretch it so you're in the longest shape you can make. Toes and fingers as far away from each other as they can get. Roll onto your back. Relax. Strategize a way to be long and roll over onto your left side. Strategize a way to be long, roll onto your back, relax, roll to your right side, onto your back, left, onto your back, right, onto your back, left, ending facing your screen, and relax. If that was difficult, Probably being there is going to be important. If this next sequence is difficult, think about what we've just played with that adds up to where we're going next and revisit that. Top leg goes behind you. Top arm goes in front of you. From there, they're going to exchange places. Hold. Top leg will lift. Other leg will follow it and I end up lying on my other side, top leg behind me, top arm stretched out in front of me. They change places, top leg continues to lift, I'm on my back, big shape, on my side, leg and arm change places. Opening up, other side, stretch. Opening up, other side, stretch. Four, three, two, one, hold. Top, original top leg is behind you. Original top arm is in front of you. Push yourself up to a sitting position. Big shape. Lie back down, same side. Top leg behind you, top arm in front of you. Sit back up. Big shape. Lay back down. Back up. Back down. Back up. Hold, lie down going the other way. Back up, back down. Back up, back down. Up, original side, down. Up, other side. Up, original side. Up, second side, back up. Original side, if that's difficult, stay there. If not, arm and leg change places. I'm up and over, and I'm all the way up to a sit-in position. I go back down, change places. I'm up, I'm back down. Up, hold, arms go behind me, bridge up, back down. Choose a side to travel to, continue, flip. Up, reverse. By now, yes, some of you are lost. Where are you lost? Is it the up? Is it the down? Is it the switch? Which of those components would be super important for you to revisit and get into your body? Choose that or choose bridging, choose stretching, choose another movement pattern or 
keep playing. One more. Seated upright, ah, just do a little regulation. Ah. Figuring out the way bits and pieces come together to form an exercise. And I like kind of throwing hands and knees. I like throwing some of that in because it's like, well, that's not an exercise that I've done in an exercise class. But it is human movement, human movement done in a sequence, human movement done in a sequence with suggestions and rules, which is what an exercise is. And so if I get lost in squats or in burpees or in how to do a push up or any of those, well, figuring out ways to explore and play and where, where I am in space is the building block to get better at fitness. So hands and knees position, toes tucked. A stretch back, a stretch forward, a toe stretch, and a wrist stretch. Toe stretch, wrists. Now you can stay here. You can go side to side, or if you want to, you can go into those circles we've been exploring. And reverse. Finding center, bring your knees and feet together. Can you keep your hands on the ground? Drop your hips to the left, sit without moving your hands. Back to center. When you're center, are you centered? Drop your hips to the right. What can you keep on the ground? Back up, are you centered? Drop in and up, dropping, and up, dropping, up, one more, dropping, up. Open your knees and feet to hip distance. From there, right hand goes underneath left arm, and I try to get my shoulder all the way down. Opening back up, my eyes follow, off hand. I go under. I lift. One more. I go under. And I lift. Other side. I go under. I lift. I'm under. I'm up. One more. Under. Up. Rest. Sitting back, rocking. Can you keep the rock going and come all the way up? Keep the side to side action going. Up and down. Up and down. One more, up. And down, back to hands and knees. From there, right arm goes underneath, balance on the shoulder, and you liberate left leg. And back up, left arm goes under, balancing on that shoulder, and the right leg lift. And come back. Can both of those actions happen relatively simultaneously? And then back up. I go under. And I come back up. One more each side.
and rest. <sighs> From there, up onto your knees, tuck your toes. Match strike exercise, right leg and back, left. Now, if you've got that, as your right leg goes forward, left arm reaches forward, right arm reaches backwards. Center, other side. Center, other side. Center, other side. Center, other side, and can you follow your back arm with your eyes? Center, other side. Center. One more each side. Pick your favorite length, match strike. Step forward and up. Other leg goes back. Reset. Other leg goes forward. So first I went with my right. So now I go with left. All the way up. Left leg goes back. Back. Right. Up. Right. Back. Left. Up. Left. Back. If you've got that, proper arm swing. In, all the way up. Center. From there, find the edge of your mat. Take a giant, this is my left side. Take a giant step with that outside leg. Center. Bring it in. Giant step. Center. Giant step. Center. Other way. Now, if you can do that, big shapes. Little shapes, big shape, little, big shape, little, big. From there, find the edge of your mat, tiptoes, back down, tiptoe. Back down, tiptoe, and if you can, itty bitty steps. Itty bitty steps. And back. Ah, relax. Lift your toes off the mat. Keep the heel and the forefoot down. Relax. Toes lift. Relax. Toes lift, keep them up. Regular steps. And reverse. One more. And back. <sighs> From there, full foot down. Roll to the outside edges of your feet and back down. Outside edges, back down. Outside edges, and walk. Regular, big, gigantic, normal, small, you choose. And relax. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Bend like ankle circles and reverse. Put your hands on your heart. Take a nice deep inhale into your own hands. Tell yourself thank you for showing up. You did a really good thing. 
Take a look at your space. Tell your space, thank you, you played an active portion in today's experience. And most importantly, tell your community, thank you. We thank you for being a part of ours and inviting us into yours. Off the ground for whatever questions you might have. And I'll see you later this week. Bye, everyone. We got a big thank you. Any questions from anyone? If not, if not, we'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone.